Boucher. Hello, welcome to Keith's Whiskey Vlog. Whiskey tasting in this video, and if you can see it to my right here, to your left, as you look at me, we have a Glengoyne single malt whiskey. Glengoyne, very picturesque, one of, if not the most picturesque distilleries in Scotland. Not too far from Glasgow, but will not hold that against them. I come from the east coast, Glasgow in the west. But there you go, everywhere's got their east-west rivalry. Now, this is part of a little tasting series I'm doing from the core range of Glengoyne. And this is a cask strength batch 008008. So, as you will infer from that, this is the eighth in a series. And this is sort of pure Glengoyne. I'll read you the, the advertising bump on the bottle, but this is as close as you'll get to pouring or tasting Glen going straight from the cask. Now, also in this little series of videos, as well as doing the core range, I'm going to do a little blind comparison tasting of all the Glen going range. So, let's tell you what it says, or let, let's tell you what Glen going say. Glen Goyne's Highland Single Malt Scotch Whiskey, cask strength, limited batch, unhurried since 1833. Probably been distilling at Glen Goyne, certainly in the area long before that. Cask strength, unchill filtered, natural colour from thyme and oak casks alone. So, a little pat on the back straight away. Why add colouring to your whisky? Just make it as it is. Put it in the bottle. Uh, if it was clear, fair enough, put some colouring in, but if it's got any colour at all, just let that natural colour speak for itself. Bottled at the strength that emerges from the cask, this delicious amber gold dram is unchill filtered, unfussed and untamed. The closest thing you'll get to opening the cask yourself. A peppery tingle gives way to rich flavours of ripe banana. Interesting. Doesn't say interesting. Digestive biscuits and cinnamon. Matured in one third sherry casks two-third refill casks, I think they're sherry casks as well, and a smattering of bourbon barrels. Big and bold with a gloriously thick mouthfeel and a delightful lingering oak-infused finish. Natural colour from our casks. So 59.2%. I have tried this one. Um, check out my video with uh, John Blythe, Big John, one of my good friends who once managed the spirit of Speyside whiskey festival. I dragged him around once kicking and screaming to whiskey tour guide Keith Towers. I says to John bring some whiskey and every whiskey that he brought I matched and we, we had a little dram of this. So as you'll see when I open it uh, or open the box uh, there's a little bit out of the top of the bottle already. Now on the back here aged in the glen of the geese, the glen of the wild geese um, Glen Goyne, like a lot of whisky distilleries in Scotland, the name comes from the old Gaelic, the Scots, Scots, the Scots Gaelic, and uh, it translates as the Glen of the Geese, Glen Goyne. But our guests, I, I like some of this as well, it's really good, but our guests have, guests, guests have inspired more than just our whisky's name. We're proud to be the slowest whisky distiller in Scotland and, like those geese, we're guided by an unwavering clarity of purpose. Sometimes the right way is the long way. Protecting our future. While we respect the past, we also care about the future. Our liquid waste is cleaned in CO2 capturing reed beds and our solid waste is harvested for enough energy to power 354 homes each year. Just directly over the road from the distillery are those reed beds they're talking about. Just like the geese who visit our glen each winter, we harness the power of the wind to help us reach our destination by sourcing all our electricity from turbines. So with every sip of Glen Goyne, we raise our glass to a greener future. The packaging for this Glen Goyne cast strength is easily recycled and made from 86% recycled materials. So. Not only can you drink whiskey, but you can pat yourself on the back while doing so because you're saving the planet. So I think what, what, what you have to do is drink more whiskey and drink it as quickly as possible. Lovely box, nice and robust. You could drop this, I could throw it about. Um, the set's obviously collapsing 
around about me, but we'll continue on. So the um, the bottle, they've just gone through a little rebranding re at Glengoyne. Um, not too different from the original, but on the back of the bottle here they've got nice sort of embossed uh, Glen Goyne, a little goose there as well. I'm not sure if you can see it, but uh, there you go. If you can't see it, just buy a bottle and you can have this at home. Glen Goyne Highland Single Malt Scotch Whiskey, Cask Strength Limited Batch, unhurried since 1833. Cask Strength, unchill filtered, natural colour from thyme and oak casks alone. As I mentioned, batch number 008, 59.2%. A peppery tingle that gives way to robust notes of ripe bananas, digestive biscuits and cinnamon. This is Glen Goyne in its purest form, straight from the cask, undiluted and always unchill filtered. So, you can tell they take a pride. They do it slowly, they do it properly, they do it their way. No peat, no smoke and non-chill filtered, unchill filtered. Um, as it comes at you, there's Glen Goyne. Right, let's taste it. Fifty nine point two percent. Now I've got a little memory of tasting this with John. The videos I did with John, um, we had a good night of it, so I had to split the videos into four different videos. There were three half hour videos, one 45 minute video. Um, I'm a little bit biased, but I would say this well worth a view. We taste some quite unusual whiskies and we talk all things whiskey as well. And I also speak to John a little bit about his time up on Speyside when he was managing the, the Spirit of Speyside Festival. Speyside, the most concentrated whisky making region in the world and all sorts of really quite memorable experiences John had up there. I'll be getting John on again at some point in the future. Hello John if you're watching and uh, uh, hopefully see you again soon. I've got one or two little special whiskies tucked away for you next time you're here. Watch this space. Okay, enough waffle, on to the whisky. So, I can, it's not that long since I've drank this, I can remember a fair bit about it, and although it's pushing 60%, it doesn't betray that. It's some of the, the, the other Glen Goines I've tasted, 43%, 48%, smell a lot stronger. This is 59%, smells much more mellow. Nice, balanced, sweet. Um, I think as well as the sort of uh, the sherry cast, some of the bourbon casts, a few bourbon casts, there's also sort of Rioja red wine casks in the uh, in this as well. So a, a little bit of sort of sweetness. Quite well balanced. There's no there's no threat here, so I know what's coming next. I'm gonna put it in my mouth, see what happens. Boof. Um, strength, there's a bit of bourbon, there's a bit of toffee. You get the woodiness, but you've got a real power, real strength, real sort of flash fire heat. If you were stuck on a mountain in the snow, sprinkle this, you'd be feeling like you were in a cosy hotel room. Real warmth, real oomph, real boof, all those sorts of words, make them up. So it's a little bit spicy. You're looking at a bit of pepper. You're sort of mulled wine in the winter, so you're sort of cinnamon, spices like that. Oh. 
a real mouth tingle. <clears throat> There's no real proper depth to it, but it's, it's everywhere and it's it's hot. It's good. That initial rollover. Got a little bit of citrus, a little bit of honey. That sort of lemon sweetness, almost a sort of medicinal. Hardly touch that. And it just sets fire. Big, thick, long legs there. Now, from memory, I much preferred this with water. Melted it right out. So, we'll add some water as quickly as we can. Otherwise, might have to phone 999 or 911. Right, a little bit of water. It's down a bit there at the moment. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to finish that whole bottle. I'll try, but... So initially, without water, no real threat, no real strength in the nose. There's much more coming at me now, much more vaporous, much much more strong. It's sweet, it's nice. So, buttery almost, with that toffiness, the bourbon. And uh, just a little bit of sort of cereal notes coming through, so a bit malty, a bit biscuity almost. It's big and it's bold. It's so yeah. So no, not the real smack. I still flinched a little bit. We got a real woodiness, the lemon, and the toffee. Now most of the the other Glengoyne core range that I tasted had a real sort of oranginess, a real waxiness. It's not really got any of that. That real sort of um, sweet sort of macerated orange, as if it had been soaked in alcohol. Um, it's much cleaner than that, it, but it's very powerful. I'm trying to use my language carefully. It's not the most enjoyable, it's an experience. It's uh, Whiskey sh sh doesn't have to be enjoyable. It's, it's not like a, a can of Coke or a soft drink or something that's um, gentle and that's what it is. Whiskey should have a lot more about it than something like that, and this has a lot more about it. There's nothing, it's not going to spread out, there's not There's not 100,000 different flavour notes here, but you've got three, four, five big bangs right in the middle, coming right at you. So although it's saying it's as pure Glengoyne as it comes, fair enough, it is cast strength, it's coming out of the cask. There's, there's no frills, but it's, it's missing that sort of oranginess, that cleanness almost of the, most of the other in the core range, the 10, the 12 uh, especially. Interesting dram. Bang for your buck. You're talking, you're coming in around about 70, 80 pounds, something like this. So it's not cheap uh, for a non-age statement, but uh, yeah, don't avoid it. Worth it. Worth it. Worth a taste. Now, if you have enjoyed this video, check out the other Glen Goyne reviews. Check out the blind comparison that I do as well. And obviously, check out the videos between me and John. And while you're at it, why not check out everything else as well. Thank you for watching this video. We shall see you again soon in the future. Cheers for now. Slanjava.